Hi there, this is Anna from 7 Shifts. Question, how much time do you spend creating and maintaining your staff schedule? If you're like most people who create schedules, you probably spend up to five hours per week creating and managing staff schedules. Some businesses, especially restaurants, often report spending up to a dozen hours each week on scheduling. Yikes. If you're like most managers, you know that time is money and the tasks that you have to worry about during the day take up a lot of that time. Scheduling shouldn't be one of them. Here are a few expert tips to cut down that time and money you spend scheduling to give yourself more time for the things that are important. Number one, keep all of your staff requests in one place. If there is one constant in business, it's that things are always changing. Staff need days off, get sick, don't show up, or book last minute holidays. All of these requests mean that as a manager, you need to make on the fly changes to your staff schedule, all of which add up to hours of extra unplanned work. Don't waste time dealing with sticky notes, texts, and Facebook messages. Instead, use software to streamline communication and employee requests. Find a scheduling app that will serve as the one true way for staff to submit requests. If all of the employee requests come in through one place, it is easier to make sure nothing slips through the cracks. Even better if you use an online scheduling tool like 7 Shifts, when you approve staff availability, these changes will be automatically updated in your schedule. Number two, set clear expectations on availability and time off requests. We've spoken to a lot of business owners still using pen and paper schedules who have all described a similar problem, last second changes that leave them scrambling. It doesn't have to be this hard. Set clear expectations with staff on when requests need to be submitted in order for them to be considered. For example, set a guideline that requires a minimum number of days advance notice for time off or require that your team regularly update their availability for future weeks. Keep an updated document of your request guidelines available for staff to view at any time so that the expectations are clear and you only have to update one place. Set expectations early and often with staff to save yourself time scheduling in the future. Number three, find a way for staff to be involved in scheduling. Get scheduling software. Why spend extra time building a schedule by hand when there's technology to handle it for you? A program like 7 Shifts can save you time and money with more than simply scheduling. Free mobile apps provided with the software can allow employees to streamline shift management and swap shifts amongst themselves with manager approval and streamline workplace communication through direct messages or team chats. By empowering employees to own their schedule and communications, work is taken off a manager's plate. Plus, the manager will always know what's going on through requests and activity streams. Your employees will love the added flexibility, as well as having their schedule and any updates pushed right to their phones. The bottom line is that a couple of small changes in how you schedule can have a big impact on helping you save time. If you start small and use a few of these tips, the time and money that you save will help you become more efficient and profitable. If you would like to learn more helpful how-tos, watch our other videos, or visit us at 7shifts.com. See you next time.